The information that we had now compiled was absolutely compelling. It was multiple sourced. It was sort of the, the last straw. Picked up the phone, called the secretary, have to see the director, I'm coming now. You know, George Hannah is a very smart guy. He's chewing on his cigar, going back and forth, he's jumping up and down, his eyes are flashing. Well, it's not just red lights. There were real plots being manifested. The threat continues to rise. Public pronouncements by people in Al-Qaeda was, there would be eight major celebrations coming. The world was going to be stunned by what would soon happen. We decided the next thing to do was to pick up the white phone, call the White House, we're coming down right now. I said, Connie, I have to come see you. We're coming right now. Present at the July 10 White House meeting, our national security advisor, Condoleezza Rice, and other top officials. There will be significant terrorist attacks against the United States in the coming weeks or months. The attacks will be spectacular. They may be multiple. Al-Qaeda's intention is the destruction of the United States. I said, this country's got to go on a war footing now. I sort of slammed my hand on the table. What happened? Yeah, what did happen? Yeah, what happened? Essentially, nothing happened. Yeah, that's right. Remarkably, Condoleezza Rice would later write that her memory of the meeting was not very crisp. At the end of July, we were sitting in my conference room and we were just thinking about all of this and trying to figure out how this attack might occur. And I'll never forget this till the day I die. Rich Blee looked at everybody and said, they're coming here. And the silence that followed was deafening. You could hear a pin drop. They're coming here.